Welcome to the Vlog Network. This is Chats and Snacks, where we chat while we snack. Today's topic is a bit, well, very controversial. We're asking the question, should a Christian artist collaborate with a secular artist? Grab a snack and let's chat. Make sure to like our page, The Vlog Network, on Facebook and YouTube, and follow us on Instagram. So, Anthony, what do you think? Yes or no? Well, it's not exactly a yes or no type of question. You see, topics like these, where the Bible doesn't explicitly address, require a bit of wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures in order to figure it out. Okay, before you give me your answer, we need to define a few things. So a Christian artist is basically a Christian singer who produces gospel music or just music that lines up with Christianity. But we'll define other things further in the discussion. So secular isn't necessarily evil. It means not being connected with religious or spiritual matters like your job or the ABCs. I don't think we need to focus on if it's right or wrong more than we need to focus on all the other important factors. For example, look at Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Recently, she did a song with Nicki Minaj, which stirred up a lot of division among Christians. This is a classic example of something being permissible, but not beneficial. I mean, you can work with non-Christians, but wisdom and discretion determines whether it should be done or not. We can assume that Nikki gave her life to Christ, but it is not wise to allow a babe in Christ to function in such a big role in a ministry as influential as Tasha Cobbs. But what about if she collaborated with Celine Dion? We like her music, we play it at our weddings, but Celine and Nikki are secular. Do we have a double standard here? It would be a double standard if the answer were as black and white as yes or no. Using wisdom and the scriptures, you can judge the tree by its fruit. Yes, both Nikki and Celine are secular, but Nikki glorifies sin through her music and in the lifestyle that she endorses. Since it's such an influential platform, Tasha runs the risk of appearing to endorse what Nikki stands for. This is not to say that Celine is a saint, but the influence level is a bit different. The Bible says, how can two walk together if they don't agree? Would you create an ungodly alliance in an effort to glorify God? If our intent is to glorify God, if we call our music worship, should we team up or yoke with people unequally? I know some people will say that a lot of Christian artists go to secular producers to create their music. It's one of those things that we can't fully control, such as making sure that all the clothes we buy come from a Christian seller. It has a lot to do with influence. More spiritually than not, that secular producer can have a negative impact on the music or that artist can have a negative impact on the listeners. Many more arguments can be made for both sides, which you can leave in the comment section below. But our focus here is to show you that sometimes it's not so much about looking for the right or wrong argument. There are a lot more things to consider. Many times we focus so much on trying to be right that we become stumbling blocks. It's always wiser to be on the safer side rather than positioning yourself as close to the edge as you can. It's similar to alcohol. We know that we can drink it, but would you use it in such a way that disregards the way it affects others? Your work with God is more important than any argument. As we said in this discussion already, many things are permissible, but few things are beneficial. Few things actually build up the kingdom. Don't be so caught up in walking in your freedoms and being right that you cause another brother to fall, cause someone else to lose faith, someone else to be skeptical. But I'm looking forward to hear your comments. We really want to have a nice, healthy discussion in the comment section below. So leave a comment 
leave a like like us on facebook subscribe to us on youtube remember to follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one